Hello, my name is Tunç. I am founder of Fina Quant Analytics. I will show you very shortly today how you can run table functions from an Excel sheet. First, download and install the .NET library Fina Quant Calcs. Then, download and open the Visual Studio file Calcs Excel integration as administrator. Now I open Visual Studio as administrator. Then I select the project Calx Excel integration. You see here opened as administrator. This is important for com registration. In the code file named Calx Excel, you can find the table functions that will be called by Excel macros, for example, multiply tables, add tables, combine tables. Now build or rebuild the project with com registration, but first check if the register for com interop option is selected under project properties. Now you can build or rebuild the project. Success. We have one more thing to do before running the table functions. Open the Excel file. Then go to developer, Visual Basic. Find references under tools. Now we need to add FinaQuant calcs. Press F. Here it is FinaQuant calcs and Excel integration. This will be the com interop. Then save it. Now we can run the table functions. First try say hello. You see it works. On the right hand side of the worksheet run macro, you can find input tables, each input table in its own worksheet. And you can add as many input tables as you want, but ensure that all the fields of these input tables are defined in the metadata sheet. I will now run the first table function multiply tables. First input is the cost table. This is a quite big table with more than 700 rows with the key figure costs. Second table is here margin table 1. I will change it to margin table 2. It's this one with the key figure margin and here the key figures are selected key figure from the first table costs second table and this is the outcome now i can run it takes a while because the cost table is quite big and this is the result you see new resultant key figure price. It opened a new Excel file in read-only mode. You can close it without saving, no problem. For Excel macro developers, I will show how the table function multiply tables was executed. Go to developer. Visual Basic, in Module 1, you see the macro, which was called, as we push the button, Multiply Tables. And this is the .NET method, Multiply Tables, which was called within the macro. Let me show you one last example before closing. It will be about exchange rates. 
and I need to create new tables for that purpose. The first table I've created is product prices. Here you see products and prices with different currencies. The second table I have created is for exchange rates. I want to convert all prices in different currencies into the single base currency euro and this requires a simple table multiplication. After setting the parameters for table multiplication, input tables and key figures, can I now run the table multiplication? No. I need to first define new fields in metadata. Otherwise I get error. Only after defining them I can now run the table multiplication. And here is the result. Price in base currency euro. This is the end of my presentation today. Please send your comments and questions to our community forum. We try to answer every question within two workdays. Goodbye and have a nice day.